Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Rick and Kelly's recap of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, episode 15. I am Rick. Hi, I'm Kelly. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back with you. I'm wearing pajamas because they wore pajamas yesterday. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wear pajamas. You're rocking those PJs. Yes. I want to thank Sandra Cook for sitting in for me for the last couple of weeks, but I'm back. And don't forget our show our recaps are brought to you by el cristiano tequila yum yum to the tum tum <laughs> it's the greatest tequila we've ever tasted <laughs> and it is available at some retail outlets across america but it's also available online at l-cristiano.com and you can and, get a discount yes a 10 percent discount if you use our discount code rk10 uh, this stuff is amazing and it's pure. It is, and it just it gets you right to the point. <laughs> <laughs> no awesome. additives. It's the real deal. We love this stuff. We love the guys who own the company. They're friends of ours, and they do a lot for the community. They give back. They give back to Mexico. Oh, oh, oh I, we, we have, have a studio just been audience. Provided with some tasting glasses. Have, come over here and say hello. To I like, This is my cousin Tony. Come over here. He just I woke like up. I like the silver. Kelly so we were going to do this last night, but uh, that, 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 that wasn't going to happen. We had a little bit too much of it, so. All right. A little hair of the dog, I guess, perhaps. No, not too much. Not too much. No, no, it's morning. It's morning. I, I'll get, I'll Just go. a taste. There Just it is. Just a sip. All right. I, I can't drink during the day. I fall asleep. This, I'll this have to take a Dorinda nap. It's no joke. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be promoting this tequila if we didn't love it. No, we love it. I just. Cheers. I prefer to wait to five o'clock. I think that's called a, um, what kind of. It's smooth and delicious. What kind of alcoholic is that? When you, when you, it's Flush. like a function, func no, a functioning. Functioning one. alcoholic. Functioning, yeah. All right. Well, we're not. I'm not an alcoholic, but. But we do love Al Cristiano, so check it out. All right, we got to get to this show. Um, <sighs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> this uh, mm. this week's Beverly Hills episode was was pretty action packed. Yes. We actually have a lot of clips. I cut a lot of clips from the show because there was a lot going on, and it started with the aftermath of Dorit's charity event dinner when when Rinna lost it and then they celebrated Kyle's birthday um so and my wait, wait 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 can I just show real quick can I just talk my cousin Tony and his his wife are, are at my house last night we're watching it and he doesn't shut up but we <laughs> made him watch it and he kept talking he didn't say anything that was going on he just kept talking about people's looks right who Is was that, hot who was who hot was not. who was hot and who was not <laughs> And he kept saying <laughs> that Lisa Rinna is smoking hot. I did think so too. Uh -huh. I cannot believe that chick is like 59. Like it's, an, huh? She's uh -huh. rocking it. That chick yeah. is rock. And he did not like Dorit. He thinks that she's too mousy. I think Dorit is smoking hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> she is hot. I would agree with that. Yeah. Uh, I think Kyle is beautiful, but uh, it's not all about looks. Garcelle is beautiful. It's not oh, yeah. all about looks. Okay, it's it, about substance. Yes, it's about substance. So um, the first clip, uh, Cone, you can shut up now. <laughs> the first tip is uh, the first clip is uh, what do you know? Crystal is talking about her eating disorder again because apparently that's all she has to talk about. Okay, I am so sick and tired of hearing Crystal's eating disorder. Okay, most of those girls on that show have eating disorders. I, I can tell you, uh, Kyle admitted it. Dorit. Did not used to look like that. If you Google her back in the day, she's got some, some kind of eating disorder there, too. Um, eating disorder can be anything. but Yeah, it just bothers me that it, she talks it, about it constantly. All, it's constantly, and it's all about her. Yeah, and, she and has she, to bring it back she, to her. She has to bring it back to herself. That crystal needs to go. And, she, has, and, she provides <laughs> zero, zero substance. And to be quite honest, go ahead. Here it is. Britta and Diana came over a couple of days ago, and I saw Sutton yesterday, and we were talking about um, the wine party, um, about my eating disorder. You guys maybe thought I never saw anyone. I've seen someone since I was 13. Do you think you're seeing the right people to help you with this, if that's the case? I've, I spent hours today interviewing different people. I talked to Rena yesterday, sent me, I've sent her, you know, yeah. you know different, very specific people. Look, my hope for Crystal is that she finds a way to effectively deal with her eating disorder so that she can enjoy her life. Go get someone that can help you. Put this to bed. Be done with it. I'm on it. I'm on the journey. My cousin Tony thought she was hot, too. You thought, I, you thought Crystal on, was hot. I'm on it, she said. But, but I'm on it. But she said she's been seeing someone since she was 13, and yet she... Uh, Complains that she, that, that, that she can't handle it. She, she's, she's, she's a mess. She's a mess. And all the ladies are like, why don't you do something about it? And she's like, don't pressure me. 
But now all of a sudden she's been getting help since she was 13 and now all of a sudden they're all giving her people to call and she's making calls all day but i don't know i just i'm sick of it wait are you going to show that clip where she goes up to her husband yeah I'm that's coming up that? that's yeah coming i, I want to talk about that the, one the second clip though is uh sutton they got into it right. uh sutton and erica and a bunch of them and sutton said that she didn't like being called a friend with liabilities. I like to be, I used to like to be called a friend with benefits. Oh my God. Back in the day, not anymore. You're my benefit. <laughs> and you damn right I am. <laughs> they used to call me a liability on, on uh, oh, Kelly can't go back to, to Bravo because she's a liability. Here's the Sutton clip. I did get called by an attorney about Tom and Erica's one of the lawsuits that you're involved with. For what? What? What'd you get called for? Witness? To what? Mm -hmm. Because the attorney thought that I had information. I received a letter from an attorney who is involved in a lawsuit with the Girardis. I know what they're gonna ask you. Sutton, you said that one of Tom's former partners left the firm because of shady business practices. That was a rumor that I had heard. Yeah. You said that yeah. You're like, that's a rumor. They're so, going to ask you, what was that? What I've learned is Erica has a lot of lawsuits in front of her. Yes. My point is more. You were a liability to all of us last year. That's why you are a liability and not me. It's not my fault. You I told it, you to be quiet. No, I, I didn't. I told you to be quiet. No, you didn't. I told you to be quiet. I told you to be quiet. How could she say it's not my fault? It's not. It's not my fault that I took $750,000 in earrings. And funneled all my money through EJ allegedly, Global. Allegedly funneled Tom's money into her company. Allegedly. Allegedly $20 plus million dollars of victims' money. Yeah. Not my fault. Not my fault. It's but not I took my it. fault. Not my I, fault. It's not my fault I spent all that money that was supposed to go to someone else, allegedly. It's not my fault that I haven't even tried to do anything for the victims. So, so then Dorit accuses Sutton of being the only one to question Erica. But Garcelle says that she wasn't. And then they showed clips of all of them, Dorit, Kyle, questioning her. And then Diana jumps in for, oh my out God. of nowhere and starts a fight with Garcelle. And this is our no, clip three. I want to watch I can't this. stand her. I used to like her in the beginning. I can't stand that girl. What? I, her and Crystal Bug. Here it is. Can I just say something? I feel like out of all the women here, you're the most guarded one. Like, how did we get from liability to lawyers to me? That's where it started, no? No. You what do you want to know, Diana? I really, really like you, but I feel like for your friendship, I had to work extra hard and I got nowhere. And then I'll go like, well, why am I doing it when she's shutting me down every single time? At your Christmas party, I was leaving. I came and said goodbye. And you said to me, I feel like we got on the wrong foot. I really, I do apologize. Thank you for that. I always feel like there's part of yourself. I see it in your eyes that you like me. Yeah. Deep down. Yeah. So you can't say that I shut you down because I was also open in that conversation. Yeah, but I haven't seen you since, so. Well, I haven't seen you since either. When did she try to get to know me? She trashes me in a group text. She comes to my birthday party and she's a total bitch. Google me if you want to get to know me. Google me. Google me, bitch. I don't like. Google me. I don't like that Google me line. I don't like that at all. Google me. But, uh, I. Don't, here she goes again with the lips. I, I I see it. I I see it in your eyes that you like me. <sighs> Whatever. I like you, but it's, you know you're guarded. Whatever. <laughs> you're you guarded. Me. You shut me down. <laughs> you don't want to have anything to do with me. But I, but I see it in your eyes You're, that you like me. Yeah, I see it in your eyes. So then, oh, and this is where it gets really heated, Rinna chimes in. She attacks Garcelle and has the nerve to say, Rinna does, that she's coming from a place of love. Yeah, what is that psycho babble that she's trying to... Here. Why is she even chiming in, by the way? Listen. She, she, you know what? She's starting to bug. She's starting to bug everybody. Do you hear where she's coming from? Just for a second. What do you hear? What do you hear her say? <laughs> I think she's I think she's sad and pain about 
whatever happened between you two. I would just like to know you better differently. I would like to know you better yeah. differently so, as well, Diana. That's all I'm saying. How do you feel about that, Rena? Yeah. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Take that. We quashed it. Yeah. So, like so shut your mouth. Because Peanut like gallery. Because I think you're defensive, and I don't hear her. No, you're defensive. defensive. So I go, why am I self, defensive? Why are you defensive? Why? You tell me. You seem to know everything. Yeah. You Ooh, tell me. Burn. That's right. Burn. Fear. I thought she was going to say F you. So did I. <laughs> I think we all have fear. Amen. You know, and I think that when we come from love, we don't uh -huh. come from that defensive place. So I go, why are you telling me about coming from love? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hypocrite. Good. Yeah, good for you. Way to call her out. Yeah. I don't really know if Rilla is in the position to say, come from love after she was just screaming her head off. Oh, oh, so why is it your problem in my hair cell? I why is it your problem? Oh, oh, I should have said it earlier. I mean, you kind of have to practice what you preach. Hypocrite. She was, I mean, she was a mess just half an hour earlier going yeah. after Sutton like but nobody's that, business. That, like you can see that's is that it's just acting. Like it's 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 starting to like wear on you because you don't know if she's acting or being real and the way she's like it's just it's just so produced now. It's with her, with with Rinna. It's yeah. like I don't know, I guess that's what they like because if you're too real you get fired and if you're an actress and I think the only real one, to be quite honest, in this whole group is Kathy Hilton and well, Garcelle. It's funny you bring up Kathy Hilton because she's our next clip. This was my favorite clip. She is hilarious. So she goes to visit Crystal at her house. And of course, Crystal and her husband were talking about her eating disorder again. Uh, and Kathy Hilton shows up. And after about, I don't know, five or 10 minutes, I don't know how long she was actually there, this happened. This is my favorite, too. Ah! They look dumbfounded. Just something to nibble on. Some almonds, perhaps? No, whatever. Cracker. Ooh, that's yeah. so good. Would you like some cheese with those crackers? But just a little bit. Are you a blue cheese person? No. Gouda? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have a giant Coke or something? Yes. Oh, a little napkin. Would you like it in a glass? Sure. I love this. You come over and we feed you. I drive all the way here and this is all I get? <laughs> a couple of nuts? A couple of nuts and some cheese and crackers? <laughs> Openness. Oh, 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 thanks. Here, I got crackers. Oh, open oh it. thanks. Here, I got, oh. some, I got some cheese. Oh, yeah. Why don't you open okay, that? Do you have a it. knife? Um, do you have here, a plate? Eat this. Do you have a plate? Can to, you, can you un here. Do you have some water or here. something I could drink? I here, mean, I got tequila. Yeah. Here. This is coming from yeah, Kelly. Have it. Open is, it up yourself. Kelly's like the best host <laughs> on the planet. Anytime anyone's coming over, she makes sure you put out I a cheese plate. Always. You put out crackers. You put out fruit. A you have a beverages veggies. available. Always. But, Always. When you come to my house, <laughs> I always have the spread. Me I 100% am the hostess of the mostest. Oh. And if you've ever watched back in previous seasons and anyone comes over, I always have cheese, crackers, veggies, piece Meanwhile, of fruit. And they, I always have a bunch of knew, alcohol. And they knew. Kathy Hilton was coming over. Of course they I did. I mean, they knew, of course they knew she was coming over. They knew. And the guy just happened to have a basket sitting right there. Here. And they're not like, open this. Let's put something out for her so when she gets here, she can have a snack and maybe something to drink. They don't offer her a drink when here. she gets there. Open this. Oh. Open uh, this yeah, yourself. These, these look okay. Uh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> she, let me... he, he doesn't even <laughs> open it for her. He's like, here, have this. Open it. Do you like crackers? Oh, you yeah, want a cracker? Here, we, got, we got a basket. You like cheese? Here. You want some cheese? Like, Dude, here, come on. I got cheese right here, Mount Tam. It's ridiculous. It. <laughs> Open it up and you know what? Do you have a knife? <laughs> I mean, come on. These, uh, like, oh my God. I, you know what? Yeah. Money can't buy you class. <laughs> <laughs> the next clip is uh, Kyle celebrating her birthday at home with her family. And uh, her, her kids are all wearing matching. They're all wearing matching pajamas. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to go back. You didn't show the part where she starts crying to her husband? No, I, I'm well, sick well, of it. Okay. I can't okay. watch that anymore. So before Kathy Hilton came there, before we saw our favorite clip of all time, is right before that came in, 
Crystal starts crying to her husband and she starts talking about her eating disorder and how uh, everyone's forcing her to get help and and she doesn't want to get the help. And you know what? Or she doesn't want to be pushed into getting the help. Like, well, like then, why are you talking then, about then, Yeah, then shut the why F up. Why posting about it on Instagram and making it your storyline and yet... <sighs> Don't pressure me. And then do you like how they have the, the things that, that say, for eating disorders, call 1-800. At the end of every yeah, uh, yeah. episode. Okay, first of all, I can tell you exactly why she was crying. All right? Did you see the husband? <laughs> okay? I'm, I'm not, I'm, I think that chick is freaking, <laughs> she, th there is no way she's banging that man. Okay? Whoa. I'm telling you right now. Whoa, we don't know that. I can tell you right now, he looks like, Misery to me. They might have a passionate love affair. We don't know. I, 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 I mean, uh, just because you don't want. I to could, bang I him. couldn't get wet for that. There is <laughs> oh, no God. way. Well, I know <laughs> who you do. Just let you know. I know who you do get just, wet for. Yeah, Exhibit A. But woo, I can uh, tell you why she's depressed. I'm sorry. She's if in this it for is, the money, honey. I'm sorry. This this is turning into an X-rated recap. It's not X-rated. Here, let. Let's it's the watch, truth, Ruth. Let's watch uh, their their birthday dinner because it happens to include one of our favorite dishes of all time. Okay. You guys, the food's ready. Food's ready. Your favorite Joe's stone crab. We're doing a little pasta, a little salad. All right. Well, a loving happy birthday. Bon appetit. This is one of my favorite meals. Me too. Me too. Me too. If, if you don't know this, you can order Joe's Stone Crab. And they have it delivered. Online. They'll deliver it to your house, like yeah, on dry we, ice. We get it delivered all the time. My friend Asia and Ted Jones. They send us some. Always send us some. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm telling you, Joe's Stone it's Crab. It's down in South Beach. Uh, it has to be Stone Crab season. Yes. They are. It is the best. I yes. love that stuff. And they we're not getting paid to say that. Uh-uh. God, uh, I love it. Can we go down to South Beach or get some delivered? Yeah, we can. Mm. Uh, and your birthday's mm, coming mm, up. Yay! My birthday's um, coming up. Then Sutton and Kyle meet for dinner. And Kyle tells Sutton she's stirring up the stuff, which I thought was really hypocritical. Like, it, really? Like, Sutton's stirring it up? Here, watch. I really threw everyone from the loop with that comment about Erica. For me, it wasn't about the legality stuff. It was about calling me a liability as a friend. The fact that she used that word, I found it ironic. I found it hypocritical. I thought that Erica and Sutton were heading into a better direction. And now Sutton drops this bomb. So she takes no accountability for it. And that really bugs me. Sutton, I love you, but you are definitely stirring up shit. Sutton, I really love you, but you're stirring up shit. What? Why are they going after Sutton so much? I don't know. And, and she's saying that she's stirring up stuff? Kyle's the, 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 the queen of stirring the pot, right? Yes, she is. You, if queen. you watch, and I didn't see, I'd never watched a show really before, and now I'm watching, and I'm like, this woman every week is trying to get people in trouble, trying to start fights. That's what she does. And, and you said she's good at it, and that's what the show is based on. Of course, that she's doing her job, but then to go over there and point fingers, you know what? You point fingers, you have three pointing back at you. Oh, snap. I like that. You know what else I thought was ironic? Because she said it was ironic that, that she says that something was hypocritical. And, and then Kyle said that she was stirring it up. Kyle was being a hypocrite. That was ironic. Yeah. There's a lot going on in that one little clip. Um, the next clip is, uh, so Rinna throws this disco party. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. But she first, the first thing I want to talk about is she's giving, getting a tour from, I guess, her party planner. And they go over to the bar. And this, this just touched a nerve for me. Watch this. And then the bar, of course. Uh, bar. Yes. Let's get a drink. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How fabulous. <laughs> Hi. Purple pucker, life's a peach, jet setter. Let's do jet setter with lemon. Please. Are you guys bartenders? With tonic. Um, so no, these two ladies. All right, so we need a bartender. Brand. I need real bartender here. Yeah, he's gonna come. So let me turn. I need real lemons and drinks pre-dredged. Here, the first two. I don't do this if I'm pre-dredged. I need real lemons and real limes. I'll drink it, but I need real, real, real lemons and real limes for my ladies. Why does the staff 
have to wear masks and no one else is. Yeah, they they all have to be tested before they film and everyone's quadruple boosted. They all had to get boosted and all of them had COVID still. And they all get tested too. And they all get tested like, on the daily and everybody of the staff has to get tested. Why is it that the staff the always waiters, the, the waiters, bartenders, the bartenders. The, 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 if you the, watch the girls, the dancers, uh, the girls ultimate girls trip with Dorinda and Vicky and Tamara, yeah. all the staff were wearing masks there too. I hate that. That is like they are treated like second class citizens. Oh, well, that's what they've created a they've, class system. They've, it's they've like all created, of a sudden now, if you if you're a worker, you have to wear a mask. Yeah. But if you're a diner or if you're on TV, uh, one of the stars, you don't have to wear a mask. That is, that is just unbelievable. Yeah, they've created hate a class. That. I hate that too. You know what else I hate? You know what else I hate? I hate these dumb air kisses. I I, I could I, watch how fake this is. Hi! Welcome. Hi. Oh, I love the glasses. Hi, baby. It was a trip. I mean, there were communal bathrooms. Oh, cool. Cool. Oh, where are you doing this floor? Mwah, When I see someone who's a friend of mine, I give them a hug. I, I like it when you go to, they're trying to act like they're Parisian because the Parisians go, mwah, mwah. Like it's but, but genuine. But they're not Parisian. They're not in but, Europe. They're not. No, what, what? Americans go like this, mwah. We yeah, you might one. give one kiss. But in Europe, Or you might give a hug. Hey, baby, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hug, the air a bro kid. hug, a handshake. I don't handshake. know, he, that, that, but that really makes him... But I guess, oh, because of COVID now, you can't. But they were doing that before COVID. I know. It's so irritating. I hate that stuff. So so they, so they she throws. A, a 70s party. Okay, this is what irritates me now with these shows. Now, now it's getting stale and lame. New Jersey copied us. Okay, well, first of all, they copied. Tamara did a competition, and then they, and then Teresa did a competition right after her. Then uh, you mean with like the the obstacle course? Yeah. Then we go on a little round thing in the middle, you know, in a bar. They copy us. Oh, the 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 bar. You yeah. Do, you paddle around. Then and the, yeah. Vicky, me, Tamara, and Shannon do um, an obstacle thing. Yeah. New Jersey does the obstacle thing. Uh, we disco do, party. We do a '70s disco party that was like. Epic, the epic of all time. Now they're doing it. The, they have they exhausted all the ideas. Ideas. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, come on. It's time, time to make a change here. You got to stop copying. It's the same formula, and it's irritating. Uh, oh wait. Ugh. So now the next clip. And, and what? Yeah, uh, I can't. The next clip is. Oh, oh, this is about. The, they're kind of making fun of, of Dorit's charity. Hold on, let me just play this. <laughs> <laughs> when did she work with the toothless? When did she work with the toothless? When did she work with the toothless? <laughs> she is hilarious. Do you think, you know what that tells me? That maybe none of them wrote a check and they didn't actually write out homeless, not, and first of I all, mean, toothless, not homeless. Is, I can't even say Okay, it. first of all, that's not her charity. It's Sharon Stone's charity. She's just using the, this vehicle to act like she's charitable. Yeah. Another BS move, okay? And, it like, just, and that charity dinner turned into an absolute And you know what? Kathy mess. is right. What's the difference between toothless and, 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 and homeless? Kathy, when she was whispering in her ear to Garcelle, like, I yeah. mean, come I, on. I was toothless, not homeless. Yeah, he was toothless. I made him get teeth. <laughs> I had a lot of, like, bad teeth. Yeah. But now I don't. He had summer teeth. Some are here, some are there. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Uh, like you had to repair the whole bridge. The, uh, yeah. You had to repair the whole gum line. So finally, at the end of the disco party, of course, there's another fight. And this time it's Erica and Garcelle going at it. And, you know, Erica was upset because Garcelle apparently was talking smack about, about Erica with a bunch of the other ladies. So then this is what it devolved into. I got together with these ladies and I said, does Erica seem like something's happening with her? Okay, but is that to make Erica look bad, or is that out of genuine Erica, concern? I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. And you can make yourself look like a liar right now. Oh, so now you're calling me a liar? It makes it feel like you had some other ulterior motive. If you just wanted me to have a problem, and if you having a problem doesn't change my life in any way. And it does, and it or bad. Or anybody else's. And it's my life to destroy or build. Or then rebuild. destroy it. Blow up your life. It's your prerogative. 
That's right. Well, she is blam rhyme. And now she's acting like she isn't a drunk and that she right. has issues. Now you're all of a sudden, uh, we saw it. You don't Brent, have a problem? You don't have a problem? Well, maybe she doesn't, didn't that night. But prior to that, she certainly had a lot of problems. Yeah. I mean, it was off the charts. Off the charts her problems. And by the way, you pointed out last night, Garcelle didn't even bring it up that at Garcelle's, I, I think it was Garcelle's party. Maybe it was Diane. I forget whose party it was. No, it was Garcelle's birthday party. Yeah. Erica was hitting on her kids. And yeah. then, well, hitting on her older that, son. And that's and what I said. And then told the other one to F off. You know what? I would have, and, and this is where Garcelle should have said, Garcelle should have said, oh, really? You didn't hit on my son and you told my son to F off? You don't have a problem? Like, honestly? Like, yeah. You know what? That, it's just, um, I, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to the next week. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the next week, too. <laughs> Team uh, Garcelle, Team Kathy Hilton, and Team Sutton. I like Sutton, too. Yeah. And, and I, don't know, I don't know why they all go after her. Maybe yeah. there's something going on behind the scenes we don't know about. Peanut butter and jealous. <laughs> uh, if you love our content here, check out our podcast on Patreon, Spotify, or Apple. It's the Rick and Kelly Show. Uh, we really appreciate your support. We're blowing up on YouTube. Oh my God, we're blowing up on YouTube, you guys. We love Thank it. you. Thank you. We and love please, you for, please, for please watching. subscribe. And we really want to make it to 50,000. We just started it and yeah. it's growing. We're halfway there. Yeah, we're halfway, halfway there. there. So if you can yeah. get us there, we have goals. So, <laughs> we would so, love so that. check us out here on YouTube. Check out our other shows and have yourselves a great day. Yes. Bye.